I'm Snow, and this is Gas and Go. All right, welcome to another episode of Gas and Go with Snow. All right, we are here at the Grand National Roadster Show, and there are some phenomenal cars out here, but there are very few that have the history of what's standing behind me. First of all, Rick, hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you taking the time, but especially when we get to learn from a master like you. So I need tell, to come out and get out more and get this. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what we're looking at back here. What, what is this? Well, it started out as a 1985 Pontiac Sunbird, J2000. Okay. And right. uh, we we built uh, another pro street car. In fact, it's right back there. Okay. Well, real quick, get a look at that 65 Nova right there. That's another one of his creations. We, All right. wanted, we but, wanted to build something. I made a list of about 12 mm -hmm. things that make a pro street car a pro street car. Okay. And, you know, like the wide tires and the right. engine and the paint and the, all this stuff. So yeah. we decided to take everything to the limit. Right. I wanted the, the tires so close together in the back that you yeah. couldn't put a piece of eight and a half inch wide paper between them. <laughs> so there's about eight inches between those. Okay. Uh, it's a full stainless steel frame. Okay. Which was... Yeah. That's the thing. If I even touch it today, I need therapy. Yeah. Because <laughs> I spent a year finishing it, welding it, grinding it, sanding right. it, polishing it. But once yeah. it's done, if it gets dirty, I just need Windex and a paper towel. Yeah. So, well, come on over here and check this out because now I have a ton of questions for oh, you. Oh, boy. All right. So let's start with he was pointing out the, the nitrous lines and the supercharger, and I'm looking at the turbos. Right. So how... Just, my mind is blown here. Tell me what I'm looking at. Tell me what's going well, on with this motor. You've got two turbos, and what they do is they'll compress the air and bring it up higher than atmospheric pressure. Okay. And then they feed through here. Okay. Up into here in the, the plenum of the superchargers, and they right. pick it up already compressed, but they don't know it's coming from a turbo. Right. The turbo doesn't know it's, they're going to a supercharger. Right. So it picks it up and it compresses, compresses it some more. Again. There's a, a brain fart here. All right. Um, well, wastegate back there. Yeah. That if I get make too much boost, so the turbos will go off and they'll scare the hell out of the passengers. Cause okay. It's straight exhaust. Yeah. But uh, and then it's a 1050 Holly, Rotomaster turbos. Okay. And um, right. Stainless steel exhaust. Everything had to be handmade. Okay. Now much. the Welshman and I we had a discussion about this, and I'm saying that's a small block Chevy. Mm -hmm. What what is the motor? It's a the old bow tie block. The okay. Aluminum block. Yep. Mm -hmm. They call it a bow tie block. There was a bow tie, Chevy bow tie on the side. Right. I remember the, grunt, the polisher sink. We spent a little extra time, got rid of that thing. I thought, hey, <laughs> come on, you didn't do that. Okay. All right. So we're looking at um, a, a small block. What's the displacement on that? It's a 350. Okay, it is a 350. Okay, so small block 350. And then, now, this is very interesting how you have the distributor offset Oh, right there. angle. And you can, yeah. you can change your, everything from inside the car. Nice. You, know, you want to pull the wires or you want to okay. change the timing. Yeah. Interesting. Um, okay. All right. This is, this is a scuba tank. That's air for the body lift. So this right here. Yep. Okay. And um, batteries up here. All right. And now, it's a dry how, long, system. how long did it take you to build this car? About three years, but it wasn't full three on. Three years. It wasn't full on. I took one, one weekend off. <laughs> Yeah, one week in the rest. Huh? That's right. Okay, well, again, let's look at this because this right here is just classic 80s right. is the paint scheme. Right. And the one thing I really, you know, I like, these weren't like hot rods back in the day, but you had that the, the slope to the body sure. and it just, it made it look like it should be fast, even though it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, right. The little four cylinders that came with were not. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. And I got to compliment you on that cage. You hand polished that whole cage. Yeah. Well, I had a friend too that came came over and did the. Okay. I did all the all the big all the welds and everything. And okay. some of these welds, you know, they're like they're two inches long. Yeah. I did all that and got it buffed, and then he came in, mm -hmm. and just the, the straight stuff between it, he buffed all that up, and then okay. I'd make I buffed the tree, you know, because the yeah. thing he had was so big and so powerful. Okay. I just and then. Hey, when you get a chance, look at the gauge cluster and look at all that's going on there. Yeah. Ten gate, ten guide gauges plus attack. Yeah. Now, as far as like um, 
door panels and all that stuff. Is that all uh, what uh, came original with the car, or did you have that custom made also? I, I made it. Okay. But we, well, I had an upholstery shop do the stuff, but we peeled everything off. The, yeah. The factory plastic stuff. But um, yes. there's a lot of a lot of stuff in here. There's a full frame around the doors and going all the way back and all okay. the way across the front and everything. So this right. can open to reinforce up it, and we can open the doors even when it's raised. Ah, so okay. So we wanted to make it solid. All right, now I have a big question for you. That that is a monster mouse motor there, right? All right, and you got it blown and turbocharged. Why nitrous? <laughs> well, <laughs> that seems I, like. If, if I didn't put it in, people would say, where's the nitrous? Yeah. Am I right? That is a true statement. Because that, But have you ever used that? No. I, I, I drained it. No, because you got the twitchy finger and you think, now, if it blows up, who's going to have to fix it? Who's yeah, going to pay for it? This is true. Me. So then you just... <laughs> so, no. now, have you taken this down the, the track? No. What? We, no. We had to a couple occasions where we were going to, and then we thought, you know... I mean, it's going to run fast, but it's not like these cars that are purpose-built for the track. Yeah. And I'm not going to yeah. rev it up to seven and dump the clutch. And it's just, right. It's just not something I want to do. Well, uh, this, again, is an amazing machine. And I really feel like I got a history lesson today. And, you know, I was a teenager in the 80s, so I remember these cars on the road. And, you know, but sure. to see one in an actual race car is a real treat. So, oh, I hey, appreciate it. thanks again. I appreciate, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. We'll see you guys next time on Gas and Go with Snow. You